Okay, one of our guest favorites at the Nash Guest House is our uh, bourbon bacon fried rice. So it's super easy. Um, you want to preview your rice um, or use leftover rice from like Chinese food. They always send you too much. Um, but if you make it, you don't want to use fresh rice. Put it in the refrigerator for at least four or five hours um, uh, and then pull it out, let it rest for a minute. So in a large skillet, I've got one cup of raw bacon cut into half inch strips. And I've got half of a sweet onion. And you're gonna saute this until the onions are a little bit translucent. And the bacon is just a little bit crispy around the outside edges. It's best if you put the bacon into a cold frying pan and not directly into a hot frying pan. It crisps up a lot easier. So that's waiting, cooking. So you want to dice up um, about a cup of green onions or spring onions, depends on where you are and what you call them. I've got them just real quarter inch slices. And this is where we get the liquor. So this doesn't have to be fancy, bougie, or expensive, but any kind of bourbon or whiskey. About a half an ounce, pour it right into the pan. And you treat yourself to a little. So that bourbon kind of caramelizes, the alcohol burns off, still a kid friendly dish. This whole meal from start to finish should take no more than seven minutes. You pre made your rice. So super easy, it's like five or six ingredients and hands down the thing that every guest that checks into our bed and breakfast raves about, all of our reviews are about, they call it out to the recipe, I never give it out, well, now I am. So if you like it, make sure you click the whatever the stuff thingies that are somewhere on there and say that it's good and share it with your friends. All right, so we'll take a break for a second and wait for this to get crispy. All right, so our bacon and onion has started to caramelize. Um, it's getting a little bit crispier on the edge, which is just the perfect time you want. Go. So now's the perfect time once you've got your bacon a little bit crispy, your onions are a little bit translucent. Um, I like to use fresh garlic cloves, uh, two cloves of garlic, use your microplaner, or you can just chop them real fine, or smash them up even. You just don't want to get whole bites of garlic. That's, nobody wants that. This, this is something that we serve in the morning for breakfast. It's kind of a breakfast fried rice, I call it. Bourbon, bacon, breakfast fried rice, but you can really serve it at any part of the day. It's literally the best thing that I make. All right, so you get that garlic in there. Just shake it around a little bit, mash it up. You don't want it to burn. Your heat is still on high, so you gotta be real careful and keep moving it around, because if that garlic burns, the whole dish is dumpster. You might as well throw it away. There's no fixing burnt garlic. Literally tastes like eating a dead hooker. It's terrible. All right, so now you can see, zoom in on there, babe. So you can see you got some like crispy parts on your bacon. Your onions are about halfway cooked. This is perfect. This is when you want to shut your heat off, totally off. We're going to use five tablespoons of butter. I know it's crazy. You're adding butter to bacon fat, but I didn't say this was a low calorie dish. I said it was delicious. All right, so you just kind of move this around. The heat left over in the pan is gonna melt this butter. When it's about half melted, that's when I dump in a tablespoon of white sugar right into the pot. Gonna use a teaspoon of uh, dried ginger out of your cabinet. If you don't have dried ginger, you have fresh ginger, use like a quarter of a teaspoon, it's pretty strong. Um, and then we use a um, quarter of a cup, between a quarter and a half a cup of soy sauce. You can also substitute all of those ingredients, the sugar, the ginger, and the soy sauce. Skip all of that and just get teriyaki sauce. But you want to get the really 
cheap ghetto teriyaki sauce, not the bougie fancy stuff with the chunks in it, like the dollar stuff from Walmart works the best. I like to make my own. Basically, soy sauce, sugar, and ginger makes teriyaki sauce. All right, so once it's kind of like this, you've got a nice coating on the bacon. This is the time that you take your rice. So again, you wanna use cold rice that is either leftover from crappy Chinese food the night before or that you made and it's leftover from a meal. If you wanna make it for this meal, cook it and then put it in the refrigerator. So it needs to sit, it needs to be cold and in no liquid. All right, so we dump this in. Again, the heat is still off. If you leave the heat on, the butter clarifies and then you just have this like greasy, oily mess. So you just smash it in. Smash, 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 be violent. If you like a little bit of spice, now's a good time to throw in a little bit of chili pepper flakes. Um, we find that our guests kind of frown on spicy, greasy, bacony stuff in the morning, so we don't do that, but you certainly can. All right, once you're about halfway mixed, everything looks pretty well combined, is when you're gonna put in your spring onions, or green onions, or you can use chives or shallots or Whatever, you just, this is uh, giving you a little bit of crunch to the meal. So we like to serve this as a side dish, but if you're doing it for dinner, you can absolutely do this with like some grilled chicken with uh, some pineapple on it. Just grill the chicken with salt and pepper. Uh, soak it in some pineapple juice overnight, or just for an hour. Uh, put a big pile of this rice on there and set that chicken breast on top. Ooh wee, honey. That's some good eating. Grab a plate. So like I said, seven minute meal, easy squeezy. All right, that is our bourbon bacon fried rice uh, with ginger. Super delicious, probably the best thing we've ever made here. Enjoy.